Let's go across to some developments coming in from the Korean Peninsula. South Korea has condemned North Korea for blowing up the northern section of unused roads that used to link it with the south. Earlier in the day, in a show of anger, residents of the town near the border gathered in front of South Korea's presidential office, calling on the government to ease the rising tensions in the Korean Peninsula. <laughs> For residents, every day is filled with anxiety. And recently, they started playing anti-North and South Korean broadcasts. Problems are piling on and it's getting worse. Why do we have to live in this kind of world? The solution is simple. We just have to stop sending balloons and North Korea won't send any trash balloons. South Korea's unification ministry, which handles affairs with North Korea, called out the detonations as a highly abnormal and regressive measure that violates previous inter-Korean agreements. North Korea blew up sections of inter-Korean roads and rail lines on its sides of the heavily fortified border between the two Koreas. According to South's Joint Chief of Staff, some northern parts of road and rail lines connected to the South were destroyed. Video provided by South Korea's military showed a cloud of white and grey smoke emerging from the explosion at a road near the western border town of Kaesong. Pyongyang's actions prompted South Korea's military to fire warning shots. Experts say that this incident shows Kim's resolve to sever inter-Korean ties. At the moment, young people in North Korea have this longing towards South Korea due to the influence of South Korean soap operas and K-pop. It is widely known Kim Jong-un's top priority is to get rid of such influence. Blowing up inter-Korean roads is a way of showing Kim's firm resolve to sever inter-Korean ties. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.